back to Steelers Fan TV, which is um, today you'll be listening to watching the 10th vidcast, so vidcast episode 10. Um, so we obviously we started a month ago and now we're 10 vidcasts in, a lot of other content in, and I think it's going quite well to say in the scheme of things that I didn't think it was going to happen. So yeah, now we're here, we're going to be talking about the title race. So obviously... You don't really need to know much about the title race. It's currently between the Devils and the um, Giants. And obviously, it's this is going to be a video basically talking about how the title race has evolved over time. And I'll give my verdict of who I think is going to win the title this year. So, obviously, the title race began a long, long time ago. And teams were just winning it year after year, you know. Steelers, Devils, like... Well, not necessarily Devils, really, because they only started um, a lot of years later. But you had your favourites, really, for the titles, you know. like It was mainly the Steelers that were sort of winning titles. I think they've won the most trophies in British ice hockey. Um, so I think it just sort of shows sort of how it's sort of evolved into sort of a different league nowadays. I mean, you have the Coventry Blaze winning it a few years ago and the Belfast Giants in 2014, and obviously now the Giants are back, they haven't really been up there for a long, long time, they've been obviously in the higher in the league, but they haven't been challenging for the title for a while, so it's kind of a breath, breath of fresh air, five years later to see them actually going for it again, and sort of being more competent if you like, because obviously in the last few years, they've been sort of in the shadow of the Devils and the, and the Steelers, well, not necessarily the last few years, but the last four years, um, obviously, 2015, 2016, and, and years like that, the Giants were struggling to sort of catch up with the sort of top teams, and they always seemed to look out class, really. And obviously the 2015-16 season, um, with the Steelers winning the league, I think they beat Giants seven out of eight times or something along the li those lines, and... I think that sort of showed how times have changed because now it's the other way around. The Gi the Giants keep just beating the Steelers, and obviously the Steelers have took two points off from this year at home. And obviously that were a really good game if you're a Steelers fan. But the Giants did almost mess up in one of the double header games. I mean, they were leading going into the last minute, and then we pulled one back to equalise. And obviously it went to overtime, and it could have gone either way. But obviously the um, the Giants did it um, and won the game. So, how it sort of evolved really is the Devils in the last two years have been absolutely immense. And as much as it hate, I hate to say it, the Devils have been absolutely fantastic like throughout. These last two, three years, oh Christ, they're, they're such a good side. But what I can't understand is sort of how it sort of took them so long to get where they were. Because... They're a good side. Obviously, Todd Kelman does an excellent job with them, and they they are sort of the epitome of British ice hockey. Well, I have been for the last two seasons, but the Giants are just sort of starting to come round now, and I do think that for the next two years, I think we will see the Giants sort of up there and pushing for the title. Steelers are way off. You know, me as a Steelers fan, I personally know that we won't win the league for a good few years, maybe even three or four. At the end of the day, I'll be sort of cheering it on until we do eventually win the league but I just can't see it happening for a long time obviously with the current setup that we've got current situation that we're in um, it just doesn't look so great and it's a problem really because off the ice we're a good side we've become sort of a more competent off the ice more better in our PR and obviously on Twitter Facebook Instagram you know you name it we used to have a Snapchat account that's been down for a long time and obviously we're a club that has evolved sort of off the ice, but on the ice we've sort of took a step backwards. I mentioned this in like I think it was either um, Monday's review of the games or it was Tuesday's article for Steal the Puck that we off the ice we've gone forward, on the ice we've just took a step back, and I do think it's down to sort of the the non-achieving in the last few seasons. You know, last season and this season mainly is we're just not going to achieve anything and it does reflect badly really whereas like you sort of compare it to the devils you know th two three years ago we were neck and neck with them at the top of the table and i remember when mastienko kicked that puck in 
and it was it was against the Devils at home and it would have put us back in the lead in a real tight title race but Darnell obviously washed it out for a kick in and it was and it's sort of looking back then you're like they were the times you know they were the exciting times as a fan and now you just sort of look at it like well we haven't really got much to do so we can we can talk about sort of what's going on at the top and I am jealous of the Devils and the Giants because at the end of the day I've had that time and I really like that time I want that time back, you know, I want to be seen sort of was challenging for the title. I don't want to be seeing Devils and Giants sort of rubbing it in his face as, ah, Steelers, look at you, ninth place or eighth place. You know, I want to be up there sort of saying to them, you know, we're going to win the league, what are you going to do about it? But it will take a lot of time, really, for that to happen again. And personally, I hope Giants and Devils enjoy sort of the time they have at the top. Um I am disregarding the Glasgow clan, you know, I don't think they're, they're even with a chance of winning the league, or the Panthers, I think they're, they're Panthers season done, you know, they're not good enough, and Glasgow, they, they're just working their way up the league, you know, but I do think Glasgow could be challengers the season after, I think the Panthers will still struggle, and I think if the Panthers are going the way they are, I think they'll just swap places for us next season. Oh... Can you tell I don't particularly like the Panthers that much? But anyway, as I was saying, Devils and Giants. Two, on a, on a level, the fan bases for them two sides are excellent. You know, really supportive, really up for every game. You sort of go to the arena when you're playing the Giants and there was only about ten of them. But at the end of the day, they make that much noise that you... Sorry, not ten, about hundred of them. And they make that much noise that you think your ears are going to burst. I don't know if that was from like the drum or it was from their fans, but at the end of the day, they create a hell of an atmosphere sort of within this within every stadium they go to. However, obviously, their home atmosphere isn't as good as their away because obviously there's a bigger contingency of fans at home, whereas away it's more of the sort of... So it, well true supporters if you like you know you can say that sort of they follow the team away everywhere and they sort of turn up like really up for it getting the beers in and stuff like that and they're really up for it you know devils have an excellent home atmosphere but not necessarily an away atmosphere i mean there was about 30 of them come to the arena the other week and they just didn't sing at all and i, I do agree it was a wednesday night and even earlier in the season they were panning us about six nil but still there's no songs coming from sort of the devil's end, which is going to bring me on to the last bit of the video. Who I want to win the league and who I think will win the league. So, who I want to win the league is the devils. Because, personally, I prefer the devils to the giants. For one petty reason, and it's the fact that Belfast literally had Spyro Galakas and created one of the most hostile rivalries I've seen in hockey. Uh, obviously, both clubs created it, but obviously between us and the Giants last season, there was a real sort of bite to every single game we play against those Giants, especially after Freta knocked down Galakas in centre ice. Like I've never seen anything like it. Like you came into the arena and we're playing the Giants, and you're just thinking, Christ, how sort of hostiles this it's like a playoff game sort of every hit was landing you know fights all over eyes Connolly hitting Shudra to the edge you know it's sort of all that and it sort of added up from one thing so and it stuck with me really like sort of how how them games panned out so I was like you know I'd rather the Devils win it but I do think well, I do think in my head that the Giants are going to win the league this year and all credit to them if they do because at the end of the day, the Giants have been excellent throughout the season. Whereas the Devils were starting off shaky, you know, CHL didn't go well for them. And the Giants are just sort of ploughing their way through. You know, they've got to the Europe final at, at home ice and they managed to lose. But at the end of the day, they're showing what British ice hockey is about. Sort of the rampant sort of resilience, really. And obviously last, I think it was two weeks ago, double header against Cardiff away and they lost both times. I mean, if they want to win the league, then they've got to win either one of those games or both of those games. But I do think that if they are going to win the league, they're going to have to sort of step it up in this last bit of the season. And I think Adam Keith's men will. 
And Adam Keith is a was a genuine leader when he was playing. Like he'd drop the gloves even though he's about five foot six, you know, he'd drop the gloves with like any person. I think he dropped it with Boris Falabic a couple of years. I'm sure that was I'm sure that happened. Like someone in the comments tell me if that happened, but I'm sure that was one of the things that happened. But I think the Giants will come good in the last sort of a few weeks of the season. It's sorry, last what is it? What are we on now? Last fifteen games of the season, I think Giants will really knuckle down and go on and win it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the look ahead on Friday. So see you later.